is a stadium. This is real, dude. This is a big deal going down Huge. today. Dude, look at the bank on that thing. How many people fit in here? Look at the screen. I don't know how many people fit in here. I heard 50,000. I don't know if that was a correct what number. Is that? Dude, this what is, is crazy. So excited to see everyone coming out tonight. Oh, they got the burnout cars lined up down there. We got to get the sidekick down there. Dude, this is going to be insane. Calm before the storm, man. It's yes, sir. <laughs> Boys, we are here at Bristol Motor Speedway. This is insane. Massive stadium over here. We got the sidekick lined up with the Vargas Brothers right here. Everyone else is showing up. And uh, why it's in there right now, we're getting a two-step wire hooked up. So we're gonna test that out real quick because it's probably gonna be pretty loud echoing inside the stadium here. So the rotaries are obnoxious. <laughs> Oh, that's a good. <laughs> there we go. Another guy's on the road. Oh, yeah? We're going to try the two step right now. Something, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the waist gate's stuck open yeah, right now. <laughs> Buddy, that was, um, that was about 20 pounds of boost. Yeah, yeah it sounded like it. <laughs> yeah, a chill on the anti-lag, we're supposed to be doing two steps. How do you we're do the big like hobby you. pops on these then? Not on Lower anti-lag, bro. Give me, give me the, give me the yeah, let's see. You said about 20 degrees of timing. You got to have about 200 percent more fuel. And then I think it needs. Waste I think it needed less fuel. That one. <laughs> it got <laughs> loose. All I saw is the uh, map just go st through the roof. It was like I, I, I went like this at 22, 23. I was like, that's enough. Kyle, it got louder. Kyle's eyes got bigger. Yep. And you started. My, my I'm over here like, like I'm trying to think dialed in for like seven pounds. <laughs> What about uh, not doing the two-step and hitting the limiter? Well, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully yeah. we didn't already break that eBay wastegate. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's stuck bad. open right now. Yeah, you're, I think you're first, bro. Yeah, you're first. Yeah, he's first. Thanks again for tuning in on favorite meal. You know the show. Buddy, I guess we're going. You just made me so happy. You made me so happy, for real. I don't want to go first. I guess we're going up. Ever driven this car. Oh, man. Hey, they got it dialed in for you, though. I seen pretty, pretty decent. They know how to drive it. Oh, man. Well, best of luck to you, sir. Well, apparently we're going. Oh, we're going after side by side vlog, but okay. we're fixing well, to go up. We'll see how she does, boys. I have no idea how this is going to go. She's so untested, but it did pretty good at the house. And uh, the street tuning we did today, I think it'll be okay. Just going to go out there, try not to smash into the walls, and give it our best shot. God dang, looking like an '80s disco, bud. <laughs> give them out. So guys, the way the shifter on the sidekick is set up, since it was such a last minute thing to get this car together, there are no lockouts on the shifter. We took the gate system completely apart, so it's essentially just a lever to run it through the gears, and there's no way to prevent it to go into an unwanted gear. And what you are about to witness is me missing third gear in an automatic. I went first, second, and while attempting to hit third, I accidentally overshot third into neutral. So, yeah, I cannot hit third in anything.
but she's still running. That was a pretty good run. making enough boost. Destroyed that thing. 
I mean, I kind of figured something like that would happen. Yeah. I, th I thought it blew a radiator hose. It blew the whole radiator. That's awesome. It had like no boost. He checked Ocito. It had no boost. The gate was definitely open. Was it? Yeah. I got it shut, it was, but the second it got hot, it must have stuck yeah, open. Yeah, right when I was trying to tip in, I heard it open. Damn it. And then it shut for a second, and then and it was going okay, and it went into third. Like no boost, it did pretty good. Yeah. We'll get the gate fixed. I think just that cheap gate when it heats up, that valve getting stuck. Yeah, we ought to put a new wastegate in there yeah. for sure. And I think once that's done and a little more tuning. Did the crowd like it pretty good? Yeah, they seem to be into it. All right. And a new radiator, obviously. Radiator Dunzo, boys. Big L in the chat. Holy crap! But it only hit 220 <laughs> degrees. Oh, really? That's not bad. It shredded the belt. Or <laughs> Look at the overflow is. cap. It popped out right <laughs> off. Oh, it ejected Cedo. Not too bad, I got stuck in the corner, but once I got out, I used the rest of the pad, you know, I did my best and put on show and blew the tires. You did great. Did you see what happened to our radiator? Whoa. Blew oh it apart. Gosh. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's why it stopped. I saw all the water spray. Yeah. Well, you didn't blow a head gasket. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I didn't know that, that's crazy. Yeah. Once again, me and Brent didn't get to talk till the end of the event, because they're so hectic. Yeah, it's so hectic. <laughs> And that's, that part's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. What do you think of the sidekick? I love it. Well, I mean, now that it's a little you messed know, up, but. I couldn't wait till it was done already, you know? Because it always there. Yeah. And now it's here. I want to ride. It's your turn to come back down to Florida again. Yep. I'm, this we'll month. Hook up, we'll hook up the jet boat, go hit the lake with this the sidekick. Month, we will be down there, so. I better Samantha's see you there, man. Be down there, so my daughter's moving close to, close to Kyle, so this is going to be cool. Yeah. Such a crazy event. It really has been. This was awesome. Yeah, this was sweet. And tomorrow's gonna be nuts too, so we're not it done. It is, we're not done. We still gotta race tomorrow, boys. We do. It's gonna be a blast. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you a 10 out of 10 on the mounting job because it's still attached. 
but I'm gonna give you a two out of 10 on the choice of radiator. We had an aluminum one, but it was for an automatic and it was too tall. Was it? Yeah, it stuck okay. out all crazy. Well, now you know. Yep, and it was too last minute to find the right one. Yeah, you'd be all right. Did all right, but, buff. but hey. It sounded good once you got it ripping out there. Yeah, uh, well that whole time the gate was open, making yeah, almost no boost. It was like, the gate was working again and then you stopped and started the gate was wide yeah did you hear again. when i i did that one rev to clear it out and yeah, it backfired oh. and then it was opened yeah, you get you a better gate yeah it's an ebay gate yeah ching yeah, upgrade, yeah we need to get a name brand we need to get the ching chang off and do like a jgs like piston gate yeah we need something good because i think it's so hot yeah. exhaust Those housing was glowing no diaphragm so it's just like a piston inside there with a, a double o-ring so if anything that. does happen if it does rip one o-ring it's got a second to seal it if that one does rip it's two three dollar o-rings instead of a diaphragm never that's cheap it, out it. on the wastegate boys yeah, that's the need, one thing i to told myself it. i would never do it yeah. but it was so last minute and it was a 60 mil gate we needed whirly boys you can you can cut corners of them the whirly boys control? whirly boys and blow off valves you're fine yeah, but you're the gold. gate you need a good one because you can always you can always send it on a on a compromised whirly boy and you can always send it on a on a blow off valve that sticks shut but a wastegate that's stuck open no bueno not a good time no bueno Hey, big winner over here, Good. dude. Double down. Winning in both your classes. Took rivals and white trash and pro and kill a beat. Dude, you're freaking good out there. I was out there saying you know what you're doing. Out there, the, the real kicker is we loaded the cars Wednesday at about 5.30. I got oil pressure and white trash at about 3.45 Wednesday. Damn. So literally got done, got a quick tune, got put on the trailer and came out here and sent it. A day before we left probably about oh, midnight see. one in the morning we go to back it out trans fluid everywhere Ooh. had a seal that was blown like all kinds of issues just snowballed we on. were supposed to be done we were so confident we we're gonna have it done like four days before the event we're like oh we'll hook it up yeah. to the jet boat and yeah. go do all this before yeah. the event have fun with it maybe come see you guys before yeah. dude took up all of our time dude, dude, last thing, minute thing automatic but she helped with the burnout so not bad yeah. no she did a burnout one you little made, issue hey, you're here it runs you did a burnout Call it a win. Yeah. Just need a new radiator. Yeah, just a little. One of, the, one of these that's uh, maybe not plastic and epoxy together. <laughs> yeah, that one's a little cooked. That tire was so close to going. Sidekick's been sitting here for a minute. Cords exposed. Lost all the air. Probably just a couple more seconds on that guy. She would have been gone. Buddy, it was close, man. But the radiator let go first. Yep. Kind of glad you didn't pop it, tear up the car. Yeah, yeah I want to keep her nice. Keep her nice. Good daily. But overall, it was a great night. Sorry we didn't film too much. We're always super busy at these events, talking to fans, making sure we're in the right places at the right time. So overall, it was freaking amazing. Everyone's getting cleared out right now though. What an awesome night.